Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here then welcome back sweetheart. It is joyful, 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 joyful to have your face here with us today. <sighs> Can't breathe. Today's video, admitted, 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 admittedly, admitted, admitted, admittedly, admitted, 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 I admitted, tuntly, admitted, tuntly. <laughs> Admittedly, I think that's right. This is a, an easy video for me to film. You know, I, you know, I've been, you know, down in the dumps, kind of, you know, just like, do you know what I mean? Just not in the headspace to film. But here I am, filming an easy video. Admittedly, so today we're going to be reacting to vaginal discharge talk let's just go straight ahead and we're gonna do the uh, the mighty old fine Huawei gesture to screen record two knuckle two knuckle <laughs> two knuckle tap fuck you iPhone users no don't fuck you because I still own iPhones I can't let go of them what age should I put it in what looks less invasive anyone want to send me some um, wireless headphones that'd be great oh speaking of TikTok follow me I'm at over 40k now <laughs> Listen, TikTok banned my account at 80 something K and you know, like I knew that I'd come back. Um, and I'm coming back, we're halfway there. But you know, follow me, haha. <laughs> okay, cool. I actually didn't even know that you could hashtag vaginal discharge. I never hashtag vaginal discharge because vaginal is a word that is like being like written off. Do you know what I mean? I'm parched again. This is, I don't actually ever talk this much in my day to day. <laughs> Vaginal discharge is a self-cleaning mechanism that your uterus has. It usually gooey, it's usually gooey and sticky, but it can sometimes be creamy too. It's totally normal, so don't have to worry. Girls get this sometime into puberty. It usually starts six months when you're period. Oh, I like that. But I'm trying to refrain from saying the word girls when it comes to vaginal discharge. Colors of vaginal discharge and what they can mean. Okay, yeah, that's great. Interesting. But we're on hashtag discharge now because vaginal discharge, actually, yes, it was banned. It was the shadow band or something. But look, who do you see at the top there? It's me, bitch. All right, let's look at this one. <laughs> look at his face. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay, that's actually brilliant. That's actually brilliant. I am going to save that. That's fucking hilarious. Can you so, even watch you're probably wondering what that sticky substance is you keep finding in your underwear. Well, it's discharged, and I'm here to tell you some things about it. So here's your daily dose of health facts. So discharge is a mixture of mucus from your glands, dead skin cells, and bacteria. So it's a way for your kitty to get clean. So it's a good thing. Discharge is a good thing. And you start getting it about six months before your first period, and then you stop getting it when you're going through menopause, which means that you're going to stop having your period. And this won't happen until maybe 45 to 55 years old. So Can I say that too? You'll be having this charge for quite a long time. We love to see it. Hey ladies, don't worry. That discharge, it's normal. Oh, it's just cervical mucus that keeps you lubricated and clean. Oh, don't worry about discharge. Don't worry, honestly. Don't worry. Like, wet ass pussy, am I right? So what's the deal with panty liners? You don't want to wear them every single day. And here's why. They trap moisture, they're not breathable, and you know that daily normal discharge that you're trying to protect yourself against by wearing them every single day? They actually make mm. it worse. So instead they of do. wearing a daily panty liner, switch to You know what? That is something that I've got to admit. Whenever I do use panty liners, I actually do notice that I've got more discharge. You know when you've got a panty liner on and your discharge is on it and you're like, oh my god, that's so much. So you get the tissue and you wipe off, wipe it off the dish, off, wipe, wipe off the discharge off the liner. But then you put that same liner back on. So um, if you are going to wear liners, try not to wear them every day. Try and track your cycle to figure out when your heaviest days are. That's one thing that I'm going to learn more about actually. Change them as often as you can. I know it might seem wasteful, but that's why you can opt for the more sustainable ones that are biodegradable. Over time, you'll notice an improvement in your discharge and you won't need them at all. So what's the deal with panties? Well, you, you will need them still sometimes because um, everyone's different. This is the thing, you know? 
just drink lots of water try and be as healthy as possible at night sleep without undies on try and be without undies as much as you can inside the house because i know it's very unrealistic for people like me who have lots of discharge every day and there's no way in hell i could go out without wearing them without wearing undies this is cute yeah but my favorite part about it is this this is cute yeah but my favorite part about it is this How on God's green earth did that get back into the shop without that being noticed? But also, how cool is it to like go out to a shop and see this from someone who doesn't really get to see other people's discharge often? That's great. And actually that is one thing that I've been thinking about sharing, but not, I don't think so publicly. I'm not sure. See this whole OnlyFans thing, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have a Patreon, right, which you can sign up to if you want. I don't currently give away any perks. It's just if you guys want to support me because I'm going to have to be, I have to be honest with myself. My brain can't handle doing so many perks and stuff. However, one thing that I was thinking about sharing is like discharge pics and I don't really want to have to charge you for it, but and I want you to see it. I just don't know what's the right way to do it. Like, is it really that clapped if I'm actually posting discharge pics on my feed, on IG? Although I have shared my period, you know, I don't know. I don't know, let me know what you think. You know, I've got a picture of my thrush, the first time I ever had thrush in my undies. So if you wanna see that, let me know, I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh my God, also, one day last week, <laughs> I wore my undies inside out, by accident, obviously. And um, the inside of the undies is like that cotton part, but the outside was like that mesh material. And so then my vag had been on that mesh material the whole day. And by the end of the day, my clit was so red and inflamed and sore that I couldn't even touch it. It was like, it was just so uncomfortable. And it's like that for a couple of days. And it hit me the next day. It was like, I was like, wait, this has not happened to me. Like, I think it's happened to me before, but not in like, I can't remember when. And that was because I was wearing underwear that wasn't cotton. So it actually irritated my vulva. Like it actually did. The proof was in the pudding. Before when people would say wear cotton underwear, I understood because of the breathable material and that, you know, it, certain materials um, lock moisture more than like release it and dry it. So when your undies are wetter for longer, then it's gonna be more of a build up because it's gonna be like more moisture and more warm and like more bacteria can breed. Whereas when the underwear is cotton, that is a very breathable material and it can dry a lot quicker. So if you ever realize that maybe one day you're wearing this like cotton material and it's like it dries a lot quicker and then you're wearing underwear another day that's not cotton, that's why. Jesus Christ, honestly, talking makes me parched. Pyrex life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoop, there she is. I want to see funny videos. I want to see funny discharge videos. You know how having discharge is totally normal? Normally, our cervix secretes fluid to help sperm get to the ovaries and fertilize that egg better. And throughout our cycle, it changes. So in the first half of the cycle, it's actually thicker and more creamier and chunkier, whereas closer to ovulation, it's more egg-like, clear, and stretchy in consistency. Because Indeed. You need you to stop wearing underwear to bed. Let your coochie breathe. Oh. I did not realize that was a stitch for fuck's sake. Every girl's talking about discharge. I mean, I know it's like a good electric type move, but it just doesn't make any sense. Is it just me or every girl on TikTok? <laughs> See, what I'm looking for is some kind of a title on there, and that just goes to show. That's actually quite funny. The caption is me practicing how I'm going to offer him a bite of my discharge. Fuck sake. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck sake. Can you imagine? There is no way that discharge could bleach your Actually, it could. If discharge can bleach your underwear, can it bleach your hair? See, I don't have the more acidic style of discharge. So if anyone does, can you please send me a bowl and I'll bleach my hair with it. That is fucking disgusting. The things that come out of my mouth, I need to really think before I say things, because that is disgusting. You do it yourself, let me know how it goes, all right? Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why my succulent keeps dying. I've got it in a sunny spot. 
I've got it right there on the windowsill. I water it once a week, as required, but yet it keeps dying. I love you guys loads. I hope you are okay out here in these streets, in these wild streets. I honestly, I hope that everything in your life is as good. Sorry, I'm itchy. As good as it possibly could be right now. I'm riding it. I'm just riding through. I'm just trying to manifest good things. You know, I am manifesting good things. That is the wrong way of wording it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, do what the fuck you want to do. But most importantly, have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. Also, if you want to join our Facebook community called Comfort Community, please do so. If you would like to be a part of our latest episode of People Describe There, which is episode six, a whole six for People Describe Their periods, please, please, please get involved. Everything is down below for you to do so. Okay, well, much love, peace.